it's cool, but I guess there's other Rogers zones to me that mm -hmm. pack more punch. I just oh, feel yeah. like it got so much hype around it. Like this was like the maximum yeah. and that this was like the sexual act to one, prove that you were freaky or two, to show that you like are cool mm -hmm. with your body. You know what's crazy though? I've had like a better experience with like a Q-tip than I've had with somebody eating my butt. I'm proud to share this video is sponsored by Squarespace, a place where you could build the perfect website, start email campaigns, or open an online store today. When you build a community on social media, it's someone else's algorithm, taste, and rules that govern how you can connect with your people. With Squarespace, you're in the driver's seat and you have the power to customize your content to fit your brand and your needs. My website, my mailing list, my book website, all of them are powered with Squarespace. And if you are ready to try and see if they can power your next big idea, go to squarespace.com slash shambooty to start playing around for absolute free, no credit card required. And then when you're ready to launch, you get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Once again, it's squarespace.com slash shambooty. Hey friends! Hey! hey. Hi. Analingus. Wow. Mm -hmm. Tossing salads. Mm. Eating the butt like groceries. Wow. Am I missing any? <laughs> the nail's been hit on the head, sis. There's more. There's Get more, to it. More phrases? What do you say when you're trying to describe to someone getting your butt licked or when you're asking for it? What phrase do you use? Oh, ass hit. I just like to go very direct. Yeah. yeah. Straight you to say, the point. Do you say like, will you eat my ass? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sexual. So I like to have some type of intensity to it and make sure you know, like, I know I want this and I want you to know that I want you to do this. I think so you the, should do it. How you would do it. Oh, do it now? Yeah. Can you eat my ass? It wasn't intense at all. That was very subtle. I need you to eat my ass. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. Lisa, what do you call it? Um, I say butt licked. Mm -hmm. I I don't go for the ass -y. I I stay kind of vanilla until I know I can get really into it. And when you get really into it, what do you say? <laughs> I say, can you lick my ass? Okay, it goes, from, like it, it goes from lick my butt to lick my ass. Yeah. <laughs> it has levels to it. Yeah, yeah there's there, a stairway. There's a few levels. Is getting your ass ate, your butt licked, is it worth the hype? Is a pig's pussy pork? Because sometimes <laughs> it is. It really is. It depends if they know what they're doing. If they know what they're doing, they take their time and you're into them, absolutely. If you're not into them, just you get oh, what you yeah. get. Oh, yeah. 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 Like when a woman spreads her tongue wide and you could feel the whole tongue spread. The oh, description. It's, it's very descriptive. I thought we were here to talk about ass eating. And we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I didn't know so much goes into this. So I, I've never been a, a participant. I, I haven't been there yet, but I have a best friend. You've never I've received never, or given? I've never received, right? But I have a best friend. He's 6'5". He's like 240 pounds, <laughs> and he lives by it. And when you see him, he's such a hairy, manly man. And it's like, what are you talking about? You see his little dainty little wife, and I'm like, what are y'all doing? He's like, no, I just lift my leg up like this. And I'm like, oh my <laughs> God, are you crazy? <laughs> so that's why it's like, for me, it's, I, I'm just like, I'm listening to this. I'm still like in shock. Like this really, this is happening. This oh, is yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. So you've gotten positive testimonials. Someone has given you a tutorial and you still never partake in it. No, 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 no. I think for me, my, my pleasure from sex is giving the pleasure. Mm -hmm. So I don't necessarily get like it, I know it wouldn't do anything for me. I'm not that person that needs so many different kind of like stimuluses. But if somebody wants that, then I'm open. But it's not for like I'm not really hyped to receive it. Why? Why not just try it? I don't know. It's Are just, you one of those people at a restaurant where someone's like, "This is so good," and you're like, "No, I have my burger." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm like, "Come on, try this." <laughs> yep. Man. I, I, used to, I used to be like that. I used to be like that. And then I did this like whole sexual exploration by myself after a breakup. Did it on my own. I was like, oh, I know what everyone's talking about. You ate now. your own ass, Lisa? No. Okay. Could you imagine? imagine? That would be sick. Show us the pose. Awesome. <laughs> but no. I like experimented with my own ass. I was like, this is the one area of my body that I don't know very well. Mm -hmm. And so once I really got to know that area of my body, I was like, oh, mm -hmm. I know what everybody's talking about. Yeah. And it made me comfortable exploring new dishes at a restaurant that I might not have explored before. 
Okay. Look I, what butt stuff would do. It just opens up the world. Right, yeah. You start there, and who knows where you end up landing. Open that crack, you open the world. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear Lisa, like, what did you do? Like, yeah. how did you play by yourself? I got, like, the tiniest little butt plug first. And I think it was a guy that I was with initially. He kind of started to just, like, massage the area. And I was like, oh, that was nice. And then on my own, I did a tiny little butt plug. I was like, that was really nice. And then it just kind of opened the door, and I just became known for it in my friend group. <laughs> and so I kind of started putting other people, like, maybe you should try it. And I got other people into it, and it just kind of became a thing. So and you're the butt munch guru. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. I'd like to I challenge found... you for that title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> well, you've had somebody actually lick your booty. Once, the first time I was very not sober, and I was like, I hate this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And What about it did you hate? I was like, oh, I don't like it. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. It was just new, foreign, yeah. new, unknown. Mm -hmm. And then once I explored it on my own first, I think that's when I really changed my Start perception of it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you guys should fight me, but I don't think it's worth the hype. Mm -hmm. I just, I think that mentally it's cool. Mm -hmm. Like, all oh, the power. Mm -hmm. Like, it bingo, exactly you know, that. There's something about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Like, get in my asshole. That's why I said, if you don't like them, yeah, go on ahead. Oh, okay. I don't, I, yeah. I, I love That's what the I person meant. who's licked my butt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> As we all look, I like my color. <laughs> I yeah. like my current butt muncher. I love my butt muncher. <laughs> I just feel like it's cool, but I guess there's other erogenous zones to me that mm -hmm. pack more punch. I just oh, feel yeah. like mm -hmm. it got so much hype around it. Like this was like the maximum. Yeah. And that this was like the sexual act to one, prove that you were freaky, or two, to show that you like are cool mm -hmm. with your body. Yeah, you know what's crazy though? I've had like a better experience with like a Q-tip than I've had with somebody eating my butt. It's been more satisfying, honestly. Honestly, the most satisfying butt eating experience I've ever had was like somebody doing it and I did not like them. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's yeah. more mental. It was a, it's always like a mental thing for me. Like I won't even be into you, but like, yeah. 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 So even, even with butt, um, <laughs> butt licking, mm -hmm. if you're only doing that, then it's not really fun. So like for me, uh, get my ass ate when I'm like all fours, cause mm -hmm. you have my ass you can eat, you have the gooch, then my balls, then my dick. And if you're doing all of that in a straight line or whatever, and do, encompassing the whole pleasure, then it's cool. But if you just back there just eat my ass, it's just like, all right, this is cool, it feels good, but now we can switch but do something. But when you okay. give me the whole experience. Okay, like, even when you are on all, all fours, cause as somebody who mm -hmm. eats butt, um, I find it hard for straight men in particular because they're not really willing to bust it open. Mm. So you have to do a lot of the work. Yeah. So you're like Ace Ventura, like trying to get, you know, they really get in there and then the mm -hmm. cheeks are kind of closing because it's ticklish. Yeah. So it's hard to get like a good spread to really do the work. <laughs> not you know a good spread. <laughs> you have to coach if you. <laughs> a good spread. Good ass you charcuterie. <laughs> I feel like if you're back there cool. whispering stuff, like, bust it open, like, mm -hmm. relax. That makes it more weird for the first time. <laughs> yeah, 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 so yeah. you just gotta work with whatever you got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is a turn on knowing that somebody wants to do it to you. Like, I've never had the desire to put my butt, my, like, my face in a butt, but I was like, oh, you're into me that much to where you'll actually put your whole face in, like, my, my ass? Fuck it, let's uh, go. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's where I'm at. Like, it's an I'm, intimate thing. I, I'm down to do that. I just don't want it done to me. Hmm. Like, if you want your ass, say, hey, let's let's go. But and not anybody, of course, my girlfriend. But nah, I don't. Like you said, I can't even imagine somebody whispering, "Bust it open for me." Like, <laughs> it would be a turn off for you. No, yeah. no. Well, I wouldn't have to whisper that. <laughs> if you just came and were like, "I got ah, yeah. it." Not the pause. <laughs> <laughs> my friend did. I was that's like, what? That's the position. But even this is not that practical because that's then the where's one? my face gonna go? Yeah. Well, that's like, that's a straight guy's like beginner to get in the ass aches because they start with oh, getting it. So he was head. number one. Yeah, so you get ahead and you get their balls licked and when you start going lower, our legs start raising. And then it's like we get our pampers changed, and then once you get like the legs like, up. Like, not like I'm getting my pamper changed. Like you gotta be totally inverted to really make that happen. Yeah, you do. At some point, you gotta hold them back yourself. Orlando, please show us. I don't, I gotta I mess up the audio. But if like, you back here like this, at some point, you're gonna have to hold it up. 
because you've got man thighs, right? And she has her nice feminine yes, arms babe. that's not strong enough. <laughs> so for her to hold sure. your legs and eat your ass is gonna like, it's gonna confuse her, right? So you need to put that effort there yourself. Just hold them up, player. Jared, <laughs> make you do that? <laughs> there is um, like a scientific reason as to why it would feel good. Like there's a bunch of nerve yeah. endings. There's the gooch back there. You right. can, and it's not just a matter of licking the butthole, because it'd be called rimming too, mm -hmm. where yeah. you just look outside the butthole. You're supposed to actually penetrate mm -hmm. with your tongue as well. Yeah, and then use your tongue along, up from the top of the crack all the way down to the gooch, and then up and back. And women also have that area as well too. Mm -hmm. So that's the correct way to do it. My, yeah. my question would be the preparation, right? For mm -hmm. people that haven't done it before, how do you prepare for that? I know y'all talking about shaving, but like if you start inserting your tongue in somebody's butt, mm -hmm. you would hope they would know how to properly prepare for that yeah. experience, right? Mm -hmm. First, you could do like the douche enema route if that's what you're into. Um, a good washing, honestly, He's a combo of things. Like just literally, I think basic hygiene, you would be good to go. You know, everybody doesn't need you to like would think. Everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> other than the nights where it's been like a lot of tequila involved, like I usually assess the person that I'm gonna be like, whose ass I'm gonna be eating. Mm -hmm. And I can like, oh, okay, you have good hygiene. I know once you come out the shower, like you're gonna be great. And honestly, when, when it comes to ass eating, even with trying to put your tongue inside, you're not going far enough to take out whatever's like everything that's inside. It's really just basically maybe a quarter of an inch inside. Unless they have a hemorrhoid. In such a case, don't oh, yeah. receive anal lingus <laughs> no. can we have an honest moment then have you ever eaten someone's butt before and tasted or smelled poop no i've never eaten a butt before i've never eaten a butt you've never eaten a butt no i've just had it done to me i'm the only you ass eater here take her in the Girl, you're never bottom put, isn't that part never, of the job i would never put my face in someone's ass that's just a big fucking no what? Not no. a isolated hair. My yeah. only ass eater here. <laughs> no, I've done it. Eater. No. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. right, the, right, right. This yeah, is the triangle is, of ass. Yeah, ass eater. I was like, <laughs> I haven't done it a lot, but I've done it. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I've like, never right? done you... it. I was like, I've never met someone who I was just like, yeah, never. But if they, if I had a partner and I was super into them, mm -hmm. I'd be willing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. We'd give it a go. To your yeah. point, like I, I like to. It's so intimate. Yeah. So I rather like know what I'm getting into. Mm -hmm. I rather really like the person. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then with hygiene, like I want to know that I'm comfortable mm -hmm. and clean, so that I can like let go. And really Absolutely. Easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, though, because if you do douching, if you get your butt licked quite often, that can dry it out, and then dryness can lead to tearing. So it's really diet, if anything. Mm -hmm. uh, people do like a lettuce diet day up sometimes just to clean themselves out or... Don't eat at all. But it should just be you have good long-term diet, you don't eat a lot of processed foods and red meats, and then your butt will smell and taste good. That to be said, though, I think I've... I think I've eaten three butts before, mm. and I don't think anybody's butt has ever stunk. Not in the way that sometimes balls mm. can really leave an impression, like, ooh, that was, oh, that yeah, was really heavy. Right. But uh, the butt, I don't think I've ever, stitch. as fellow butt eaters, come mm -hmm. have a moment with me. Yeah. Has there ever been a bad booty before? Like, ooh, that booty was no, I've been, not tasty. I've been blessed to never have a bad booty. I've actually been blessed to have a lot of like good tasting booties. Oh, it actually has a good taste. Oh yeah. So I was I was doing it and it was cool. But when I got like really <laughs> addicted, kind of, to wanting to do it even more, was I, I went out with this girl I was dating. Now um, brought her back home and I started eating her ass and it started tasting like a strawberry smoothie. <laughs> and I have no idea why. What and were you on? I don't know what I was on. I don't know what she was <laughs> on. <laughs> but I know that that ass for sure tastes like a strawberry smoothie. And ever since I've had that experience, I've been chasing. Asses <laughs> to find this strawberry smoothie ever since. <laughs> Have you ever made somebody <laughs> orgasm before? From eating ass? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I was doing like other things, just like eating ass, fingering, playing with the clip. That wouldn't do it for me yeah. at all. If someone's eating your ass and jacking you off, yeah, that would, that do, would it. do it. 100%. Yeah. But just that alone? I can imagine. Girl, keep that head on your shoulder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's called a rusted trombone. What is? That, that the trombone. When you're doing both. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, so, uh, well, for me, a woman will be behind me and I'll be standing up and she'll be eating my ass and jerking me off. It kind of looks like a trombone. Oh, wow. <laughs> Have you had that before? Yeah. It's great. And? It's great. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't I'm... lived at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, have not, I have not lived life yeah. at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. a rusted trombone. Rusty trombone, yeah. <laughs> Never heard of that. Never, me neither. <laughs> Do you think you're good? At eating ass? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Tell me about your technique. I don't necessarily have like a technique. I think it's just, I'm so intimate because it's like, 
it starts with the person you with. Like, if you really like the person, like, I'm licking all of you. If, if you mind, I'm licking your armpit, whatever you want me to lick. So I think it's just the intimacy of how I go from the vagina and I'm, you're already there, you know, the legs are spread open. It's kind of like, I'm going to taste all of it. Are you making out with it? Yeah. Like, just using... Well, just the ass? I'm kind of like... I'm kind of streamlining through the whole... I'm kind of going back and forth. That sounds like a UTI. That's why men, or penis holders, have an advantage with getting their ass ate. Because we don't have to worry about going from a vagina back yes, to the Yeah, yeah, can. yeah. Exactly. You can eat my ass, suck my dick, lick the balls, go back to eating ass. It's like, oh, this is great. I don't got to worry about none of this. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, what made the person who ate your butt good? I'm so comfortable with you that I'm willing to have you, like, touch and lick every part of me. Mm -hmm. So that was the comfortability and just the intimacy of that was enough to get me like really into it. And I liked the fact that this person was not ever gonna tell me I was like gross or smelled weird or any of that. So I was never gonna think about that twice and I could get into it that way. That's what made it good, yeah. I read this tip I thought was actually really clutch. It was saying that it's about using all parts of your mouth, including your vocal cords. Mm -hmm. Like when you're good at eating the butt, like you're also saying like, you taste like a strawberry smoothie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm. Which is code for like, bust that shit open, it's great. Like, don't be shy. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, always a way to say it different to make the person like give that reaction that you want. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. All right, for people watching who have never gotten their ass licked before, are they missing out on life? Are you like, ah, there's other things you could try? Like, what would you say? Try it all once, give it a go, and then have somebody else do it because the first person might have did it wrong. Well, take mm. your own advice. Why don't you try it once? Me eating it? Yeah. Because that's a no. I don't want it in my mouth unless I'm with a partner like that I'm fucking with, like, for real. Mm -hmm. I'm not just putting a random ass in my mouth. In Hollywood, are you insane? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right, um, Godfather Booty. I don't know what their nickname's gonna be, but uh, what would you say? Um, Boo Daddy. Boo Daddy. I would say, <laughs> <laughs> I would say try it, um, but don't be pressed for it. Mm. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, because me personally, I just don't feel that the booty alone, like how I feel, like the clit alone can like really get you there. So if you try it and it's not for you, it's cool. Don't, just don't feel pressed for it and don't feel any pressure to actually uh, continue to do it. Are you converted after today? Are you gonna to try to, are you going to, has your partner ever even asked you before, can I lick your butt? No, I, not my partner. I have people I've, I've dealt with that try and I'm just like, absolutely not. I think um, down the line, I think I probably will be, get into a space maybe I'm more comfortable to explore, but I like to be on the giving end. That's kind of like my thing. I like to put. What about the taint, the gooch? The no. You don't like that? It's not that I don't like it. It doesn't do anything for me. It feels like nothing. It feels like somebody rubbing on my arm. I think try, try something on your own. Because if you're gonna, if you feel like you're gonna be embarrassed by something with another person, maybe just like experiment a little alone in your room. And if it gets weird, you don't have to tell anybody. Yeah. And then you can try it with somebody that you trust, see where it goes, and you might like a new dish at a restaurant. You might not, and you never have to try it again. Yeah. Are you gonna try licking? Maybe, with the right person. I'm open to it. I'm with you, Sam. Super right open. Person. Was not open, like seriously before, but I'm like, honestly, if I did have a partner that I was really into and I just knew their hygiene, I'd definitely try it. Yeah. I also wanna just amplify the tutorial you gave earlier on how to properly receive analingus. Oh. <laughs> I think that more people could get it more often and enjoy mm -hmm. it more if they just really leaned into it. Because mm -hmm. I feel like people halfway receive. I, if you're gonna get it, bust it open, make it easy, yeah. give full access to the entire area, let the person play and see if it's your jam or not. Mm -hmm. No half-assing. No, no half-assing. Half <laughs> <laughs> Y'all too good today. This is too good. Content like this is only possible with the support of Squarespace. So big shout out to them for partnering with us for a number of years now. Now you can also partner with Squarespace to power your next big idea by buying a domain, building a website, starting or transferring your mailing list, opening an online store, creating paid subscription communities, and so much more. Improve your workflow, integrate your social media, blog, and have access to in-depth analytics to understand who your people are, all with the help of Squarespace. 
Right now, Squarespace is offering a two week free trial plus 10% off the purchase of a website or a domain should you choose to launch with them. Go to squarespace.com slash shambooty to start playing around for absolute free, no credit card required. And then when you're ready to launch, you get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Once again, it's squarespace.com slash shambooty.